However, overuse or extreme hand gestures confuse people and can look silly. So, try to use more hand gestures, but stay conservative. Right? I think this picture here shows some good examples. Right? We've got sales have been rising. So use the hand. Rising. Sales have been declining. Going down. Sales have been steady. Very nice and clear. Rising. Declining. Steady. Thank you. You're helping me understand with your hand. Very good. Here are extreme gestures. Right? A little bit crazy. Sometimes people use these uh, gestures like this. We listen to our customers and we always observe them carefully. Right? We listen and talk to our customers. That's, like, that's too much. Right? That's a little bit too much. So we want to be careful not to go too extreme. So these examples here, not so good. Right? This, uh, too much of the body here. This kind of crazy arm stuff, and then these kinds of symbolic gestures like listening, talking, seeing. Very uh, weird. Reading a presentation directly from the notes makes your talk very boring. Even if the speaker is not reading directly from notes, the audience can easily become bored. So I think we've talked about this a lot. You don't want the audience to be bored, but one thing's for sure. If you're reading from notes, if you're just reading from a piece of paper, word after word, I am reading my research to you, people are going to get bored. Think about you when you're in class watching a teacher talk. Is it more interesting that they're reading from the book or they're actually kind of talking and interacting with you? Of course, interaction is much better. Moving away from the podium and toward the audience gets everyone's attention and makes a presentation much more personal and exciting. So moving. Walking around the room while speaking shows a strong command of the topic as well as openness towards the audience. Moving away from the computer. Now, I should be moving, but I'm stuck in this little space here because we're having a video meeting, right? But if I was in a room, I want to move around. Now, you can move left and right and forward and back and into the audience a little bit if it's possible. This will really help to keep people's attention and will help you to stay interesting. Use this chance to get closer to people in the audience and to make eye contact This is also a good opportunity to make some body language clear. No one can see your body language if you're stuck behind the podium, behind the desk. No one can see you if you're behind something, right? So like here, we can see that this gentleman here is behind the podium. I can't see anything that he's doing. I can't see his hands. I can't see his body language. But here. He moves out. He moves forward. We can see more of what he's doing, what he's saying, what his body language is telling us. Standing as well as sitting positions signal your interest in the topic as well as self-confidence. Try to have good posture without looking too nervous. So in this example here, this picture of these ladies, we can see that it's good to stand up straight. It's not too good to be bending over or holding books, right? In some presentations or some talks, you may not be standing. You may be actually sitting. So for example, you may be in a room where you're facing other people and you're talking in a discussion. You don't want to be like slouching down like this. You want to be sitting up straight. Give your attention to the other speaker and to the audience. 
right? So have a good posture, look like you're at attention. That way the audience will pay more attention.